the cool thing about potholes is that, that they are ephemeral, they are temporary, but they're teeming with life. Potholes are basins in the rock just looks like some dirt in a hole in the rock. They're dry most of the time, but when it rains, then they fill up with water. And so you have an aquatic ecosystem that is active for a few days to a few weeks, depending on how much water and how big the basins are. So there are a lot of species in the potholes, but the tadpole shrimp are, I don't know, in some ways they're probably my favorite. They're the largest shrimp in the pool, and they're kind of a vacuum cleaner along the sediment, stirring up, getting organic material, algae, and material that's fallen in, blown into the pool. They're filter feeding, but they're stirring up the sediment, and then they process those particles with their legs and move them up to their mouth and decide, nope, that's not food, they throw it out. Triops is Greek for three eyes. The shrimp literally have three eyes, with the third being a light sensing organ. They do come up into the water column sometimes, and they're the top predator in some of the pools. The shrimp are aquatic, period. And so how do they survive that dry period? Well, it turns out they lay eggs that are capable of staying alive when they lose almost all of the water in the egg. And they can lose up to 92%. And then when you add water back in, they hatch out and are ready to go. So Moab in, in the summertime, you know, we're a desert. The air temperatures can be up over 100, 105, sometimes close to 110. And the surface of the rock can heat up to probably 120, maybe even more than that. So it gets very hot. So the organisms that are dormant in the pothole have to be able to withstand those hot temperatures. They are living fossils. The species that lives out here is very similar to a species that has been found in fossils in the rock. So they're not evolving, they're not changing, but that's their survival strategy. And it has worked for a long, long time. You know, some people think, well, what's a tadpole shrimp worth? In large part, we don't really know, but everything's connected. The ecosystem is a web and if you pull on one string, then you're gonna affect the other parts. If you don't have all the parts, then the ecosystem doesn't function. And we are reliant upon the processes that go on in those ecosystems, even if we don't really realize it. So if you see a depression in the rock, whether it's wet or dry, there are living organisms there. And so it's best to walk around it, don't walk through it. <laughs>